Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Wombatron, back at it with another video. In today's video, this is starting off a Soko week, as I mentioned on Saturday. Um, it is actually Saturday as I'm recording this, but this is kicking off a Soko week on the channel, to the best of its ability at least. But in today's video, we are taking a look at the Star Wars The Mandalorian Ahsoka Tano um, little thinner figure. Um, this is part of the Vintage Collection, as you can read there, Star Wars The Vintage Collection. Which in this set we have, let me see if I can show this off. Big Bur Bib Fortuna, Ahsoka Tano from Corvus. We have Bo-Katan Kreez, we have Yoda, we have the 501st Legion Clone Trooper, Death Watch Mandalorian, Fennec Shand, and Kulni Kul... That, that guy from Mandu Season 1. Which, Fennec actually looks really cool, and so does 501st Trooper, which... And obviously, so does, um, Bogotan, but I haven't found any of the rest of them yet, I don't think so. Well, I haven't purchased any of them, that's what I mean, but... Yeah, so you can see how the box does look from the front. It is that sort of original, like, you know, just little pod for the person to come in, or the character to come in, instead of the full, like, fleshed-out box. It says Kenner there, which I only could assume is the maker of these in some capacity. Now, obviously, it's Disney and Hasbro, but, you know, not quite sure. This is obviously what the back looks like in its entirety, with all of, like, the different stuff, the tensions, all of, like, the Asian warnings and whatnot. Um, you know, that sort of stuff. And, yeah, so that's it from the back. That's it from the front, which you can see Dario... Is it, um, I can't remember her name, the actual actress is Ahsoka Tano there, which looks very, very awesome, and I do love her in the actual Ahsoka show. So, yeah, um, I'm going to cut to me actually opening this and getting her out, because, you know, obviously I haven't opened her yet. So, yeah, let's cut to that. So, here we have her out of the box. I just opened it sideways like that, so then it wouldn't completely tear. Set that off to the side. And here we have Ahsoka. This is the whole character here. Um, she is tiny. Um, let's try and pop her out. I'll pop her lightsabers out first. Without breaking anything. I think there might actually be cell tape on these. Moment. Hold on. So here we have them. Which the way I've undone this bit of cell tape. Both of the sabers have come out. As you can see. That's very nice of them to have done that. So here we have our little lightsabers. We will take a look at those properly in a moment. And here we have little Ahsoka herself, which, in theory, I should just be able to sit at the back of that. And, hey presto, you don't need that piece anymore. And here we have little Ahsoka in all of her glory, which she looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to turn my flash on so you can look at her better and whatnot as well. But you see, in all of her little teeny tiny character glory, I love her to bits already. Um, she doesn't stand very well, probably need to mess about with the uh, positioning and stuff of her ankles. Like her ankle pivot and whatnot to see if I can get her to stand. And for the um, sake of how small she is, let's bring my camera down a little bit. Which for actually a quick size comparison to, if we just bring her up to it here. Here she is, next to her Funko Pop, the um... The uh, Mandalorian Ahsoka Tano fun Funko Pop, so like she's not she's not she's not even a full like four inches I think that is, um, you know for these, whoops she fell over but yeah she looks really really cool which we try and get it to focus actually on her face instead of on the background you can see how that looks got the little like detailings on her face. The little white details, got her lips, got the like crown tiara headband thing she always wears, got her like head headdress thing, or like her, I can't remember what you call these, I heard it in a video last night, but you know, it's done in white with a nice like navyish blue, which looks very, very cool. You got her actual outfit, which you can see the bracers done very nicely. Can't get too close to her, so it unfocuses, but. Bracers, little hand guard bits. See, she doesn't have any shoulders to her outfit. For her torso, all the robes and whatnot look very, very awesome. Got little bits and pieces hanging off there. I like the the waist skirt pieces there. Her baggy trousers and her 
like boots in all of their glory, which you can see how from the back, obviously how her outfit looks. Um, for articulation, we have head head on what I assume is a ball joint, because you can look up and down and side to side. Obviously, she can't do a full 180 or 360 even, because of the way her back hairpiece type thing is. She can also kind of tilt her head as well to get potential like poses. For the arms, they go the full way out on this little sort of hinge here. But the way it is, is you can go... To my knowledge, the full 360 as well, because it's pinned into her torso. For the elbows, we have about 90 degrees up bend there at the elbow. We have wrist rotation, the full 360. So then you can have it in whatever pose you need. Same with, obviously, the other arm. For her torso, you have a bit of a like bicep turn, sort of waist swivel there. I think there's a teeny tiny bit of a uh, bicep crunch there, not really much. Um, there's no, like that's the closest you get to a waist swivel, even though there's a teeny tiny bit of a one there as well. Um, for the legs, they kick that far forward. It's not very far at all, because that's standing. And she can kick them probably further back, in all honesty. If you really push, you can like get about that far, which just looks a bit strange. But... Um, there is like thigh swivel up the top here as well. Um, no like boot swivel, I don't think. No, she doesn't get much ankle movement either. You can like point her toes down, point them up a little bit, and for ankle movement from side to side, you can slightly move them. Doesn't really do much though. So yeah, that is honestly pretty cool. As always. For how small these things are, you know, it is a slight bit hard to get her to stand properly, but anyway. And obviously she does come with her lightsabers, which here we have them. The only bit you really need to look at the detail on are the hilts, which is done in silver with a teeny tiny bit of black. Which, if we hold it, you can just sort of slide that into your hand. Like so. In all of its glory. If we can... Can maybe just sit down a bit further. There we go. And if we get her arm up like this, you can hold her shorter blade, which is less of a curved blade or curved hilt than the other. Um, let's see if we can put it in backwards in her hand to kind of have that like. Let's see. You know that pose going on. You know, kind of get her splayed out or whatever, and well, bam, she's ready to fight someone in some capacity or another. Never mind the fact she can't stand properly, but anyway, um, overall, pretty cool. Um, I do actually have another Ahsoka. I know this video is actually getting relatively long, but anyway, there we go, she stands. I do actually have another Ahsoka of this size and scale, which she's kind of actually maybe a bit taller. She is the season seven. Clone Wars one, as you can see, I'll try and gently move hers off to this one off to the side to bring her in. But you can see the difference, obviously. Um let's see, live action Clone Wars, about 30, 40 years of difference as well. You know, the sword the lightsabers are different different, which we have that Funko Pop as comparison, and Season 7 of Soka's Funko Pop as comparison, roughly there too. Let's see, for proper comparison, you can see the sides of them from there. But, yeah, that is honestly it for um, this Ahsoka little figure. It's a 10 minute video for something so small, it's pretty surprising. But yeah, I, like it is pretty awesome. Like I'm glad I picked this up. Um, I picked it up in one of the toy shops sort of somewhat local to me um i think it cost me eight quid i know for all the size of it eight quid might be a lot for some people but then again it is what it is you know what they expect it's a star wars item so yeah if you liked this video hit the like button share comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you guys know when i go live and when i upload all that good stuff and yeah, as I said at the start of this video, welcome to Ahsoka Week on the channel. Um, I might try and like make 
a special thumbnail or something for each of these videos just to pizzazz it a little bit or something. Probably not, but anyway. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you guys later with something else. Goodbye.